Have you guys ever felt like you're part of the family at Universal Studios? Now I know that behind me is Fast 10, I think is what we are on now. But we're not here for this. We are here because it is annual pass holder appreciation month at Universal Studios. I was doing a little bait with the family behind me here, but yes, there are new vehicles that are now in CityWalk, which is a little weird. But either way, we are heading into Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios because it is Pass Holder Appreciation Month here at Universal Studios Orlando. So we're gonna go see what's going on, hopefully pick up the new magnets, see if there's anything fun to do. And I know that there are some unique dining experiences that you could do, so maybe we'll see if we can do one of those. You guys joining the family today or what? Now we are going to head over to Universal and Islands, but I gotta show you, we do have Dom Toretto's card. This is crazy that they're still making these movies. Uh, I, you know, I won't tell them to stop because clearly they wouldn't make it if it weren't profitable for them, but holy cow, guys, <laughs> 10 movies. Has there been another movie that's done as many as Fast and Furious? I don't know. All right, we're done here. Family's done, heading into the parks. Every year here at Universal, they do Pass Holder Appreciation Month for basically, it's not actually a full month, I think it's like 26 days, I think, technically. But what they'll basically do is some of the restaurants will have unique items or drinks that you could ultimately get that are only pass holder exclusive. They will give you the pass holder magnet. Sometimes the unique dining experience as far as like location that you can go. So one of those locations is Confisco's or Confisco's right up front here in Islands of Adventure. Uh, the pass holder unique item is actually Wagyu beef sliders and then Ultimately, from what I've heard, you can like sit up top on the balcony. So I think we're gonna try that in a little bit. We did eat before we came to the park today, so we are sitting on some full bellies. But later tonight, I think we're gonna see if we can do that. And you should have a pretty good view of the lagoon here. But the first thing we're actually gonna do is head over and see if we can find the pass holder magnet, which is actually a pretty sweet magnet this month. So I'll keep you tuned on that. Hopefully they've got it, and hopefully that store is open. Guys, what is going on with the hole? Look at the track. See how dirty that is? It's like black track here. It should be like this green color that you see over here. Look at this, so that's the normal color. Look at how dark that is. What is wrong with the track? It's all the way down here too. I've never seen that before. Gross. Over here in Marva Island, we do have a new food stand. Look at how bright, vibrant green this is. This is like Hulk green here. You kind of get this comic strip writing on the uh, on like the titles here. So snacks, beers, hot food, and then drinks down here all say you know their little bits. But it's in kind of that like kapow style writing, which is kind of fun. And then you can see even like the squares here around the writing kind of looks like it would be from a comic strip, which is pretty sweet. Uh, looks like the food's pretty standard. You have just like a full long hot dog, a chili cheese hot dog, a Bavarian pretzel, and potato knish or nish. And then you have some beers and then some snacks. So you have roasted peanuts, chips, and a fruit bowl, and then drinks, you do have those frozen slushes that you can find around the park, and then obviously your standard Coke products down here. But I'm a little, isn't it interesting that a fruit bowl costs more money than like chips and peanuts? So to eat a little bit healthier, it costs like an extra dollar, what, 30 cents or so? It's kind of crazy, right? This is the lemon slush stand, so this is the same thing that you could get at that stand that you just saw. So this will give you that strawberry or lemon like slush, and it's a pretty big cup, and we tried it. They're good, not like amazing, but it's definitely refreshing if it's a hot day out. And speaking of days, it looks pretty gloomy to me. It looks like we might be getting some rain in a little bit, and we saw it in the forecast for like 2 p.m., but we didn't get anything yet, so maybe we'll dodge it, but the wind is picking up, and as you guys have seen in the past few vlogs, the wind has been crazy in Central Florida recently. For those of you that are not aware, they actually have moved the annual pass holder lounge over here to Islands of Adventure. It was over in Universal Studio side, but now it is over here at the Betty Boop store, the Boop Boop a Dupe, and this is over here in uh, Toon Lagoon. And uh, yeah, so that's closed. I think it closed at maybe three or four p.m. I believe. Now I'm pretty sure if it's still the same way as it once was, uh, this Toon Extra. It looks like this store was giving away the pass holder magnets before, but that was before the pass holder lounge was open. So we're gonna go in and check 
and I'll let you guys know if that's the case. So we are here inside of the store and we just asked the employee and they told us that um, everything inside of Islands will be over at the annual pass holder lounge. So that magnet used to be sold here, like I was telling you, or it's not really sold because it's free, uh, but now it's over at the Betty Boop store. But they did say that you can actually go over to the Five and Dime over at Universal and they will have it over there. So we'll pick it up in just a little bit. Um, we're gonna you know, do a little bit over here at Islands and then we'll end over at Universal today. We typically actually flip flop those. If you guys follow the channel, uh, we do actually typically start at Universal side and then come over here to Islands. But today we are starting Islands because we are trying to kind of get all this going. But uh, either way, yes, just so you guys are aware, it will be at the Betty Boop store or over at Five and Dime. Those are your two options to pick up the free pass holder magnet. This is also kind of unique. So the Grad Bash shirts that they had this year, they are $10 right now. And they're actually kind of unique. Let me show you. It's a little dark on that side. There you go. Take a look at those. They were actually pretty cool looking shirts. Obviously, we didn't attend. We didn't just graduate high school. But that's kind of a cool shirt for $10. And the thing is, they're normally $30. Wow. So you can get them for $10, and then you could probably get your annual pass on top of it. Part of me wants to get it just because I like the design. But I didn't graduate from high school. I mean, I'm a little old. But I mean, come on, $10 t-shirts? Now, because it's appreciation days, obviously, we tell you all the time how much we love our annual passes. And with our annual passes, you get to skip the line with Universal Express Pass every single day after 4 p.m., which is amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and do Dr. Doom's Fear Fall. It is a 30 minute posted wait, but we will be using the Express Pass. All right, we have number four on the left side, which should maybe be a decent view. Oh, it's dark in here. There we go. We actually had a really good view. We were actually staring like right at Hulk, and it was pretty sweet. I gotta say though, I got a little nervous. Let me tell you about this. So right before we launched on Fearfall, I uh, my like seat kind of like clicked up a little bit, and I like it went like two notches up, and I uh, kind of freaked out a little bit. So I like pushed it down, and then it locked into place again. But I was holding on for dear life. Haven't felt that scared on that ride before. It's actually a pretty fun ride. It's quick but kind of creep me out. We're gonna do Hulk real quick though. I know I've asked for this before as we have just gotten off of the Hulk now. Does anybody else gray out during roller coasters or blackout? I've had a few times where like, uh, especially on looping coasters, I'll just like, as you go into like the loop, I don't know if it's the blood leaving my head or rushing to my head, whatever it is, I feel like I gray out kind of a lot and like my vision kind of goes and then it'll come back and then like we hit another loop and then it goes and then it comes back and then it's typically pretty good but anybody else experience that? Also Nicole wants to go on the uh, teacups here and you guys already know that I am not a fan of doing these with Nicole because she likes to spin a lot. Maybe I'll put in a little blip of uh, a flashback, maybe not, I don't know. I have, I've been traumatized from spinning with her. There she goes. She is solo spinning, so good luck. Oh, she's spinning. <laughs> Not bad for a solo spinner. Oh my gosh, look at her go. <laughs> Somebody just lost their wand and came flying over. That's a pricey uh, piece of equipment to lose here at Universal Studios. I'm sure they'll get it when they get off. How did you feel about it? What's that? So how did you feel about okay, it? Okay, I was flying that cup. You looked fast. Did I? Yeah, how are your hands? It was falling off. My hands are a little sore. Yeah, this one, because you got like crank down on it. I was the only one. I know. I told him you were you were cruising. Don't forget your bag. Love it. Oh, my bag. Here's the same update I did last time. Still no tables in this section here as we're heading over to Poseidon's Fury. I don't know if they're going to bring them back or if these are just permanently gone, but I'll update you every single time I walk by it. Also, if you guys wouldn't mind, please give this video a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying content like this because it does help out a lot. It helps people get to see these kinds of things as we do updates, as we do just anything around the theme parks. It helps out a lot. Also, if you guys are liking this content and you want to see more things like this, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and turn that bell notification on. All that being said, we are now over here to Poseidon's Fury. So let's go check in on those shirts. I want to see, I've been hearing that a lot of them have been going missing as in uh, they're running out of stock. I'm gonna guess that eventually they'll bring a few more back because of how popular uh, it is, but 
I don't really know because obviously it wasn't popular in the first place, so their stock might have been so limited that maybe they didn't have any interest in getting more. Now the store to get them would be right here at the Treasures of Poseidon. So I'm gonna go check inside. They were outside before and I'm not seeing them already. So that might be bad news. Yeah, guys, I'm not seeing them anywhere. These are all just the normal shirts right now. And I'm gonna keep looking, but I think, I think they're sold out and I don't know if they're gonna end up getting any more. Thankfully, we do have one, but oh my gosh. Yeah, these are gone. I don't see them anywhere. So I am sorry if you guys wanted those. Currently, they do not have them, again, there was rumors that they would be bringing more, but as of now, they're gone. I feel like this was within like a week. Holy cow, that's crazy. I mean, come on guys. This is not totally just like screen Zelda though. I know it's just like a rumor and whatever, but like this has got Zelda written all over it. I mean, just from the architecture, the theming, just the grand scale of it, how tall and big and crumbled it is. I mean, this is like, I don't know, this is so just Zelda, Zelda, Zelda. I don't know, maybe, and maybe they don't, and I don't, it's, again, it's a rumor, we don't know, but this really just screams Zelda. Also, look at that face up there. It looks like there would be like a water cannon. I think there's actually a light or a camera in his mouth. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that, but I could see like something circular in its mouth kind of aiming like this direction. It looks like it's headed that way. So I don't know if it's a light, or if it's a camera. Also, how many of you guys knew that this isn't just some crazy rock structure, but if rather you turn your camera sideways, it is the head of Poseidon. Also, if you guys were not aware, you can actually come back. It's actually on the other side of Mythos, to be fair. You have Mythos right there. But you can actually just walk along this, get some awesome views of a lots of coaster, kind of the lagoon and I'll go ahead and show you that right now but just so you can see you kind of enter underneath this little archway with the rocks so here is one angle that you can have so you can see Hulk over there as it's doing its thing look across the lagoon you see Toon Lagoon and then right over here you see the Velocicoaster it's a nice little spot that you can see typically you get some good breeze in it because it is breezy today obviously we are getting a little bit more than normal then you can actually come over here and you can get a really good view of Velocicoaster as it does the barrel roll. So it's pretty cool. You can kind of choose if you want to have the more Velocicoaster style view. And then again, I mean, you can still see Hulk from over here as you're on this little platform. But now it's over on that side. So whatever you want to be closer to, ultimately, you can kind of have. But it's a nice little getaway. Nine out of 10 times, you'll almost find like nobody over here. And you can kind of do the same if you look across the way. Toon Lagoon kind of has the same thing, but let's be honest, it's not as nice, right? All right, enough of the Poseidon shenanigans. Let's continue on. All right, we are back now over here by Confisco's, or Confisco's. I don't know if you guys know how to, is it a, like a fee or a, a fit? Like, like a fig newton? Or is it like a fee, like a, I don't know. I don't know, Confiscos? Confiscos? I'm gonna probably just keep calling it Confiscos. Doesn't really matter. We're back over here. We're gonna go see if we can take a look at what the annual pass gives you being over here. It does look like they are a little booked up right now, uh, but we did get a reservation for eight o'clock. So we're actually gonna head over to Universal really quick, go get that magnet, get everything done over there that we wanted to see. There is one thing, and I don't wanna spoil it because there's a chance it's not happening, but if it is, I'll show it to you. Uh, but after that, then we're going to head back over here and then go ahead and do our reservation at Confisco's or Confisco's. Still unsure. We have made it over to Universal. We are going to also check on VillainCon over there. We like to do our little updates and I want to see if they uncovered any more of the signs underneath. But we are heading over to the Five and Dime, like I said, to pick up our annual pass magnet. But, you know, obviously VillainCon right up front. I'm thinking this thing, like I said, is probably opening in like June at some point, to be completely honest with you guys. I have to put my hat on. The wind is going crazy right now. I don't know what is happening inside of Central Florida, but it is windy every day, all day just sun up to sundown throughout the night at any time it is just like crazy wind i don't know what's going on here whatever all right let's check out villain con real quick all right well at first glance i don't think anything is happening i apologize for the wind i can feel it what i do see is the writing that we were looking at last time right over there 
It was white writing, and now it is blue, so they did color it. Still don't know what it is. I know some of you guys were guessing in the comments. I still have no idea. I don't know, but everything else so far is still looking the same, so nothing too crazy right now. Okay, so right there and right there, those two signs look to be uncovered. They are kind of looking like the posters that we're seeing up there. It kind of looks like they're putting the posters on the bottom, so it might be what those are. I'm not totally certain, but at first glance, it's kind of what I'm gonna guess. Very hard to see behind them, but I think that's about it right now. I don't know if that was there or not, but there's a little piece right by the E3 there that's sticking out, kind of like a front facade. I don't remember seeing that before. That looks new. So down this alleyway where we were kind of pointing out how the weird crash difference here that you have between the light blue and that gray are going on between the Transformers building there. So that's uh, maybe new, don't totally know though, but I do want to check on what they were kind of putting together over here. They were like gluing down the top over here. So my predictions were wrong. I actually said they were going to be pulling down some of the scrim as they kind of started putting it together. And it looks like they actually put a little bit more up. So I was a little off there. But right over there, this is definitely new. They're kind of putting like some concrete work that they are kind of slabbing up on the side. And you guys can't tell too much, but it, right underneath there, it is actually like, it looks like it's gonna be a seating area of some sort. So that is starting to come together here, kind of this overhang spot that they've got coming in. And I'm guessing behind this blue scrim right here, that could be a sign of some sort that's coming in. But there's still a lot of work it kind of feels like to be done on this exterior compared to the actual VillainCon ride exterior. Are any of you guys excited for the new Transformers movie coming out? It's gonna be uh, like Beast Wars, I believe is what it is. I think it's coming out in June. I am looking forward to it. I actually had a little bit with Bumblebee asking about the new movie coming out. We had a fun little interaction there. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I don't think they're gonna do anything to the ride here. The little secret sauce, I was hearing that potentially the show is gonna be tonight, but because I'm seeing all of like the walk path out there, I and I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I think this is like, so they can work out on the lagoon. So I think because that's out there, I don't think we're getting the show tonight. I was hearing that potentially there was going to be the new nighttime show going off tonight based on the fact that I'm still seeing those. And I could be wrong. I thought those were basically just so people could go out and work on the lagoon. So I'm thinking it's not happening. That was gonna be the little secret sauce I was gonna show you guys later. I just don't think it's happening. We'll keep an ear out just in the event something does come up. I, I don't think it's happening. So apologies, my little uh, secret is not happening. We have made it to the five and dime. So let's go grab our magnet. We'll show you guys what this is all about. A very exciting month actually because I feel like the pass holder stuff coming out right now, it's Jurassic Park themed. So we'll show it to you. But that's exciting. I feel like Jurassic Park is actually good merchandise. This seems a little uh, baity by Universal. So they have Frankenstein and uh, the Bride of Frankenstein. They have like this blanket here and it's up by the HHN 32 merchandise. Maybe they're bringing Bride of Frankenstein back this year or something like that, I guess. So I guess that could be like a teaser, but this has nothing to do with the See You in the Fog and this whole new merchandise that they brought out. This has been around, so. A little, um, a little baby by Universal. I'm not sure I like that they did that. And here we go. This is the pass holder magnet. And I actually really like this. This is probably my favorite one that we've gotten so far. And look at, you get the little Jurassic Park logo there in the center of the O. You get the scratch marks coming through the lettering and then the pass holder there on the bottom. So that's pretty sweet. And everybody in your party does get one. So Nicole got one, I got one. So that's pretty sweet that it's not just like one per like group or whatever. So everybody does get their magnet. I actually did like the beetle one too that they came out with when the mummy came out. That one actually was pretty decent, but I do like this one a lot. I'm excited to see what other kind of merchandise that they start to release for uh, Jurassic Park here. So I was just walking by the bush here and I found this little piece of wood that says, you are loved. And it says here that you found me. I'm yours to keep or rehide. Please post your find on Facebook in Universally Crafted, Universal Orlando, or UO Rocks. So um, we'll go ahead, take a photo, and post this, I guess, online. But I think we're gonna go find a new spot to put this, because that was a little easier. Is it supposed to be tough? I don't know where all we could put it. I, I what, think Should we do like we a wheel it. well? I think we should leave it in our locker at the mummy. The locker. So then when Ooh. someone goes in to put it in, like it's already there. That would be interesting, but I feel like it's too easy to find, right? But what are the odds to get your locker that you had? What if we do like a wheel well here? 
Is that too easy? Too hard. No one's looking for the wheel well. But I don't know if it's meant to be super easy. Have you guys ever found one of those before? Again, I don't know, like, should we be trying to make this hard? It says you are loved. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a positive message. So maybe it's not meant to be hidden too crazily. Uh, so maybe we'll put it in the locker, like Nicole said, so somebody can guarantee to get it probably today, I would assume. I don't know, but we are going to go ahead, ride Mummy, and then we're gonna head back over to Islands of Adventure. We're getting all of our steps in today, getting a uh, nice appetite for those Wagyu beef sliders. Well, it is just about eight o'clock. We haven't gotten our text back yet, but we are gonna head over back to Island side uh, and just kind of go wait at this point because we wanna make sure that we are there in time. As you can see, the sun is starting to set. So hopefully uh, we do get there before it's totally gone, but I think we're gonna get a pretty cool view. And I think that's where we're gonna end up hiding that little uh, trinket that we found in the bushes there. I think we're gonna set it somewhere up there at Confisco's on the top up in like the AP lounge because I think at least up there we know people will definitely have a little bit more investment into the park and I think that they'll end up hiding it somewhere pretty cool. And we are now coming into Islands for the second time today. Different booth here but we are back and hopefully our table is ready. Again we still haven't gotten a text but they did say just come back at 8 o'clock if we didn't get a text. And we have now made it back to Confisco's. I think I switched to Confisco's, by the way. I think I'm no longer calling it Confisco's. Check out the view. We are up top. And this is, I guess, you know, I guess considered almost like the annual pass area. So I'll kind of walk around for you guys so you guys can see it a little bit. And look at that. You can see the Hogwarts Castle over there. Velocicoaster it is very cool up here. And it's not much seating. There's just a little section over there. And then these like three tables right here. And you kind of just overlook the park. Very, very cool. And then if you want to come up and stand over here, you can kind of come get a visual and just hang out. Tell me this isn't like insane. This is so, I don't know. I'm geeking out, man. I know it doesn't sound like it, but I'm just like, this is so cool that you just get to like come up here as a pass holder. So other people can't come up here and just like eat up here. I'm sure they'll probably let you come up here and just like look over it. But it's like, we get to sit right along the edge stare out to the park i don't know it's gonna be pretty cool we're getting just a little bit of sun still so we will be able to see as the sun is now pretty much setting and all the lights in the park come up it's gonna be a very very cool view we have a little bit of a situation here there are no more wagyu sliders for the night so we sat down and then she came to her table and she was like just to let you know there are no wagyu sliders left no, so um, I don't know if we're actually going to eat here. That's what I was kind of looking forward to. That's the annual pass item here. Everything else is just a normal item. I was really hoping to eat kind of up here in this like exclusive seating with the annual pass item. Uh, wow. Well, um, yeah, give us a minute. We're going to think about it for a second, but I, I don't think we're going to do that. And I'm sorry. I was hoping to make, again, this is an entire annual pass appreciation month vlog, but it's, I don't know. Give us a second. Also, if you couldn't tell, we are unfortunately heading out. We decided against that because we were really looking forward to it. That was the whole reason we came here. We wanted to get the Wagyu beef sliders and they didn't have it. So we were like, eh, like instead of just like getting something else we weren't super interested in, we are opting to uh, go somewhere else. But we are now here heading out of the park, like I said. So I apologize. We have all month long to go ahead and get, you know, the, the special food items here. Some of them we are definitely interested in. Some of them we are definitely not interested in but we will try at least a good portion of them and try and experience everything here. So I am sorry we didn't get to get that full experience for you guys. But again, we'll get it here soon enough because they sound amazing. I'm looking forward to it. We just gotta find the right time. You guys wanna see how busy it is at Universal right now? Take a look. <laughs> just so you guys know also, ballet was all booked up today. We had to park in Prime today. So, it goes to show you, it is a very busy time of the year right now. We saw band people, we saw cheerleaders, we saw, I don't even remember, some sort of like um, JROTC. So there's a lot of people here right now. Pretty busy. Well, we are now in the parking garage. We did actually get decent parking because of Prime. So we are in Spider-Man something here. But that is gonna wrap it up for us here today. We did have a pretty good time exploring the annual pass appreciation options that they offer here at Universal Studios. And I do apologize again that we didn't get those Wagyu beef sliders. I'm sad about them, so I'm sorry I couldn't give you guys a review on that. But we will be getting them 
eventually. And we're going to try again some of the food here. And that's the big thing that they do. They offer a lot of unique menu items. That's a big thing that they do. That unique dining up top was something that we got. Also in the mornings, if you come uh, basically for rope drop, you get a special entry into the park. There is a pass holder entry point. We didn't do that today. Obviously we came a little bit more in the afternoon, so we didn't experience that. And then you get the magnet. So they kind of hook you up a little bit. And that's always a huge plus in my opinion, uh, just when a park or any sort of industry gives you benefits for supporting them like that you got to always give you know a hat off to that so i appreciate universal for doing that and one thing i will say really quick though they stopped cleaning the fingerprint like swipe things so when you scan in they the one day we came in they were they were cleaning them as we came through uh today they were not and i was a little upset about that because i like that they were keeping it so clean they don't do that over at disney but they didn't do it today so i don't know why they took that away i thought that was a really smart move to implement that but Eh, it is what it is. So we're going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Again, if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. But until next time, take care.